Hey guys, what's up? Displayed Soul here today, and um, I'm here today with a uh, really cool mod pack called uh, Fellowship, the medieval mod pack made by uh, the Atlantic Craft, and they're really cool YouTubers, like one of my favorites. They're really cool. So, um, yeah, this mod pack has 53 mods, and um, I'm showcasing today at my base. This is what I have so far. I'm attempting to make a nice kitchen, you know, with a fridge and, you know, bunch of stuff, but, you know, that's a work in progress. There's really cool things, so let's just jump right in. Um, basically, the whole entire thing of this mod pack is supposed to be um, Lord of the Rings. So, it's supposed to take back, like, in medieval ages, and basically where steel was everything, and you gotta craft everything from steel, basically. So, um, yeah, we got a bunch of stuff here. Um, so, if you see, wait a minute. Okay, so here's all the mods. Um, I'm just going to name them off the ones I like a lot. I like the Ars Magica one and Atom. The Ars Magica one is like very uh, like detailed and like there's a lot of things with it. There's like just a bunch and a bunch and a bunch and a bunch and a bunch of stuff with that. Um, so, yeah, I like Bibliocraft too. Um, what you can do with Bibliocraft is uh, you can basically like make like furniture but um more stuff that you like put on almost like i don't really know how to explain it but uh what else do we got here there's also a mod oh i really like is the coral reef mod and there's actually coral reefs and it's really cool because uh yeah like there's a bunch of coral and it looks really nice like it'd be nice for make a little beach house or something like that uh that that mod pack that mod is really cool also, they have all um, the small boats mod. You can make the hoy, uh, the punt. It goes punt, hoy, uh, and something else. I forgot what it was. But, um, yeah, so there's also Jamie furniture mod in it. And, yeah, that has, like, all stuff from furniture and all that stuff. You can make, like, lamps, and that's not the Jamie furniture mod. Yeah, you can make outdoor lamps, in like indoor lamps, and like table lamps, and uh, yeah, a really bunch of stuff. You can make like a whole kitchen if you really wanted to. A lot I'm trying to do. You can make a bathroom with bathtubs and stuff like that. Obviously, here's the main mod in the whole mod pack it is the Lord of the Rings mod, and yeah, this has a bunch of stuff in it. Like, um, oh my God, this is a little thing I don't like, but whatever. The Lord of the Rings mod has obviously rings in it, and has it comes with a bunch of new ores that are really cool. And uh, there, yeah, there's tin, copper, aluminum, and uh, that's mithril. So yeah, that's a really cool ore. And you can get mugs and stuff like that. See bronze armor. Here's some. I think this is yeah the warg. You can make crossbows. You can make a bunch of stuff. Um, this is like really big. It's one of the biggest ones in the whole game they even have um here they have like battles and there's like battlefields like you can either be on the gondors or mortars i've been doing a bunch of like research on like lord of the rings and stuff like that i only watched it like 30 minutes into the movie got really bored of it but no offense to lord of the rings fans um yeah so they have a bunch of stuff with the lord of the rings kind of thing really cool stuff though uh so yeah and what else do I have? Uh, I think it was Mind Fantasy. Yeah, Mind Fantasy is um comes with like hot steel and st like stuff like that. Basically, that's what you're gonna need to like craft things. And so um uh also what I want to mention is the only thing in this mod pack that kind of can tick you off a lot. And you know, so maybe some of you have been wondering or something like that. Basically, what happens is the heavier the armor. Um, basically, uh, like, the slower you can walk. So, like, if I wanted to sprint with full iron hunt, I'd be, like, going at walking, like, at a walking pace. So, uh, yeah. Oh, they have, um, tabby chat here. Uh, one second, feel free to warp jump. Okay. So, yeah, they have tabby chat, which basically, like, you can, um, you know, talk to, like, different things. And there's, like, basically, it's basically, like, a giant chat channel kind of thing. But more of like you can customize it how you want it. So wait a minute. Oh my gosh, messed up. There we go. 
Okay, yeah, but you can do a bunch of stuff with that. Um, basically, this is like in all chat, like this is the whole thing. Basically, just for spawn, overworld, peasant, item, the item I'll show you. That's actually pretty cool. Um, if some of you guys don't know it yet, but uh, the items are like, really awesome. So, I'm just going to show you guys a few things. Uh, there's hand cannons, daggers, a big sword, and like a, a, a musket kind of thing. There's a bunch of other stuff to like uh, castles and cannons. So, you can literally make like your own kingdom and stuff like that. So, um, uh, if you guys are wondering how I got 21 golden apples, um, I was lucky. I was like one of the first people to come on the server. So, I just like went exploring and stuff like that. And I found a bunch of stuff. There's, like, I probably only know, like, barely any of this, but there's tons of stuff. And, um, yeah, you can make, like, uh, even, like, um, in castles, how they have, like, iron bars go down, like, when they want people to enter the castle or go out, um, like, you can make that. So that's actually really cool. Uh, so, yeah. Alright, we can go to spawn. This is, uh, something I want to show you guys that's I think is really awesome. And it's laggy at spawn, so as you can see, I was at my base, I wasn't lagging at all. But here, I'm like lagging like crazy. I don't know why, but um, I like these little things here. I find these things really cool. Like you can actually have like your own flag and stuff like that. That's actually kind of cool. I like it. Uh, what else here? Oh yeah, so as you, if you know, in the Lord of the Rings, um, there's two sides: the mortar and the uh, Gondor. So the Gondor is obviously good, the Mortar is the en enemies to the Gondor and vice versa. But um, yeah, so if you go to Gondor spawn, this is what I did when I first came on the server. So I went right to the Gondor spawn. So laggy. And then welcome to, uh, welcome to Gondor. Um, they have, uh, donator ranks at the time, you know, a bunch of stuff like that, some of the stuff you would get. Personally, um, I would go with the mortar kind of thing, because that looks, like, really cool, but actually, the Gondor has the advantage, because you get, like, ten times more stuff, like, the mortar, I don't know if they're adding stuff or not, not sure, but they have, like, way much, way, way too much stuff. They gotta add to the mortars, like, enemies always, the bad guys always have the good stuff, but, we don't, oh, AJ's on that. Uh, so, that brings you back to spawn, this is basically the portal room, they have the plug-in dev, like, working on all this stuff, but, um, this is the atom dimension I want to show you guys, this dimension is really fun. It's basically a whole giant, like, a desert area, and it's, like, Arabian kind of thing, you could call it. This is like way cool. So like obviously you can see, um, got a guy right here, Nomad, he's been hurt. Oh, at the time there's a lot of block lag going on, but they said they're fixing it. So whatever, I don't know about that though. They've been like really like trying to fix it. It would be fixed and then it would something would go wrong because they added something. And uh, yeah, so basically this is strange sand if you mine it. Wait, that's not strange sand. Oh wait, yeah it is. Oh, I was mining with my pick the whole time. This is strange sand if you just put it in your inventory. The crafting inventory place. You just get a sand. Nothing really special. So basically it's like a desert, but different, really. Oh, I think that's ectoplasm. Oh, that's wolf fat pelt. And, uh, yeah, there's like some bosses in here. Like, uh, I'm gonna try to find one before the episode ends. But, um, there's bosses. They'll just say, like, something like, you can't run or something like that. And it's like a boss, and if you defeat... Oh, here's one right here. See, um... When they say it up on there, it says, like, Sticky Storm, and it looks, you know, how it shows the boss thing. But all he is is, like, a little guy. Oh, what the heck? Okay, that's never happened to me before. Maybe it's the black flag. I didn't even hit Q, but who cares? This is a boss. He'll drop, like, either, a, like, some tools or something like that, just from right or from vanilla Minecraft. See, I got a diamond hoe from that. Got some bones. Uh, yeah. You can get brains and stuff like that. That's the necromancer. Or necromancy mod or something like that. But
But uh, yeah, guys, uh, I'll put the link to the website in the description so you guys can go and uh, yeah, you can download it. It's free. Uh, the Voids Wrath, like, you'll get a Voids Wrath launcher. Just install all the stuff if you want to play on different mod packs. Go on my previous mod pack reviews. There's the Aether Crusade or Aether 2 1. And then there's the Voids Wrath. So, uh, yeah, guys, I really highly suggest getting this. This is a really fun mod pack. Maybe I'll be doing a Let's Play, like a single player Let's Play in the future. I don't know. But this is really fun, so I really like it a lot. Uh, so I highly suggest getting this, because this is, like, the best mod pack. This is better than Void's Wrath and the Aether Crusade. And better than anyone I saw, because this has a medieval theme. And it's really fun, guys. So don't forget to, uh, subscribe to my channel. And, um, yeah, I'll put the link on how to get it in the description. And, uh, have a great day, guys. Peace.